Santa Casino Quest, ladies and gents, back in action. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you guys my experience with webpartners.co. I've been in partnership with this uh, brand, this company, since 2019, so close to four years now. I'm here to explain to you guys my experience. So. I want you guys to listen to this video. I'm gonna I'm not I'm gonna keep it short, I'm not gonna make it, you know, long. I'm just gonna get straight to the fucking point. You know, the affiliate marketing business model is very good in terms of passive income. Depending on what brand you work with, because a lot of these brands they're greedy. They're gonna switch terms on you, they're gonna change terms on you, they're gonna they literally have the power to go onto the back end and detag a player. So the way casino affiliation works is you bring them business, you bring them a player. That player gambles, deposits, loses, you get ref share or CPA cost per action. They have to deposit a certain amount and you get a, a flat fee, fixed fee, depending on the amounts you get. Now, Moatpartners.co um, has about five or six casinos under them. They have mybookie.ag. They have, I know, I already know what you guys are thinking. Like, scam. The second people hear mybookie.ag, it's scam. Um, mybookie.ag, they have mybookie.ag. They have myb casino. They have bigspin.ag. They have xbet.ag. They have, uh, what's the other one? BetUSR. And another, another shady brand. So they're basically all the same casino platform, just with different logos, different branding. So it looked like a whole white label operation. So as you guys can see on the front page, it says join today and 50% of your first month, unlimited earning potential, monthly on-time payments, 24-7 uh, stats and reporting, five premium brands. False, 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 false. You know, a lot of you guys have your thoughts and opinions about gambling, but at least with gambling, when you win, you win, it's binary. Like, there's no complexities, variables, or anything of that nature. You, you win your money, you fucking leave. You feel me? All right, so let's get to it. This is an extraordinarily shady company. So my first project manager was uh, Sean Lynch. Very good project manager, one of the best in any of the affiliate networks I've ever dealt with. We made a lot of money together. I've generated a lot of business when I was under Sean Lynch. Sean Lynch um, left the company. They changed the terms, by the way. It used to be you can generate players and, you know, set and go operation. Generate players and you don't got to generate no more players for them on a monthly basis. Now they have a monthly quota. So here's what happened. Sean Lynch left the company, I think it was around 2022. Yeah, around 2022. And they put me they put a new project manager. Uh they put Kim Miller. Kim Miller, very unprofessional, unethical, uh shady bitch. Her name is Kim Limmer Miller. Kim Miller. K-I-M-M-I-L-L-E-R. You guys can look her up on Skype. She works for webpartners.co. She's a project, one of the project managers at webpartners.co. Um, I was supposed to receive a payment by the end of August, actually August 28th. And she shut down my account on the very same day I was supposed to receive the payment. So the payment is not going to be sent. So what happened was she basically said that we now have a monthly quota to generate uh gamblers to their business to the casinos but no one told me that we had a monthly quota to generate you know business to the casinos let's keep in mind here ladies and gents i have approximately 100 i believe 165 gamblers uh, 160. I generated 165 active gamblers to their casinos since 2019. It doesn't sound like a lot. However, the average gambler's uh, deposits, you know, let's just say I made a lot of fucking money. 
with the platform. Um, so yeah, so now she's stating that there's monthly quotas, and I did not, I wasn't generating because as you, as many of you guys know, I'm an industrialist. I'm in many different industries, and social media is actually cracking down, especially YouTube's cracking down on gambling content. So I scaled back on the gambling on the gambling content in terms of marketing, casinos, and things of that nature. I get approached by brands all the time. Until this day, I still get approached by brands all the fucking time. But I scaled back. I'm putting my efforts in other industries where I don't have to deal with this type of fucking bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? So she said, you know, I have I didn't met the monthly quotas. Nobody told me this, by the way. She ain't told me none. She just said we're shutting. She tried to triangulate, deleg, uh, you know, triangulate and delegate the uh, responsibility. She made she made the decision. So she had me believe this whole in this this entire month because we was in communication. She had me believe this entire month I was gonna get paid at the end, you know, my commissions from the, my gamblers that loyal to their brands, but <laughs> not anymore because. I'm going to email blast all of them and tell them, you know, cease action, cease activity from, from these casino brands. Um, yeah, so she told me that I did not met the monthly quota, blah, blah, blah. And then she shut down my account. Boom. Six-figure business model. Disappear. Boom. Just like that. I thank God I have the ability to foresee behaviors and actions before they even fucking occur. So I have contingencies. You understand? But a six-figure business model, boom, just like that. And this is the realities of when you're running, you know, when you're in partnership with these greedy brands. And these stupid fucking brands and things of that nature. Because a lot of times, like I said, they're just going to take, take, take. And they're going to change terms. And they're going to make it difficult. And they think that they're going to get away with my gamblers that I sent to them. And this is why it's important. If you're running, you know, uh, an affiliate business or you're running some type of e-commerce business model, always collect the emails. Always collect the personal information. Okay? Always, that's number one priority. Because now you own the traffic. The traffic is not is not for them. So, yeah, this is what happened. Uh, six figure business model down, uh, basically down the fucking drain because of wetpartners.co. But, like I said, I had contingencies in plan, in effect. Um, it's not gonna hurt me financially, but it is gonna hurt them. You know, on a marketing uh, scale, and it's gonna hurt their brands. And you need to be careful with who you f try to fuck over because not everybody's gonna tolerate bullshit. This bitch needs to get fired because she's gonna single handedly end up uh, destroying that company and destroying their reputation. And if she's doing that, first of all, nobody told me anything. She's, she's not even active in the sense where. She's more reactive. So she's not proactive. She's more reactive. You're going to shut me down because you want to put a monthly quotas, but you ain't telling me shit. You're going to wait to the end of the month and shut down the account. What type of shady shit is that? She had me believe this in, this in the whole month I was going to receive the payment at the end of the month. I seriously, like, you know... I'm not tolerating this type of behavior, this type of fucking bullshit, because it's on a predatorial level. This is what, this is how affiliate networks can scam their affiliates. They can go into the back end. They can uh, detag a gambler, and now that gambler is not under your account, and they'll take all the revenue of that gambler for themselves. Or better yet, if you are the project manager, they can detag the gambler that you brought them to their business and actually put them under their you know, affiliate tag, and they'll get the revenue of that gambler's um, activity and action and things of that fucking nature. So, it is what it is. Um, 
I seriously do not give a fuck. I'm gonna blacklist them on all the. First of all, I'm gonna blacklist them on the syndicate. I'm gonna do an email blast, SMS blast too, to all the members. Um, and I'm gonna let everybody know to cease activities and cease actions from this shady fucking brand. Don't put terms, don't change terms as they fucking go. At least let people know, especially top performing affiliates, let them know. And if you are a casino affiliate, a casino uh, affi project manager, you know, be careful who you try to fuck over because it's going to backfire on you. I'm not gonna tolerate that shit. The bitch's name is Kim Miller. I'll post her Skype link on the bio so you guys can uh, have fun with that. And uh, do not sign up for webpartners.co. Do not generate business. Do not generate revenue to this company. And, do, and seize all marketing operations to mybookie.ag, xbet.ag, uh, myb.ag, Big Spin Casino, and BetUSR. You get a big fuck you. You try to... <laughs> this shit is mad funny. She tried to fuck me over, but it actually backfired on her. Because I, I saw this I saw this happening. I was, I was reading complaints online. I, knew, I know how the, this type of company, you know, operates. And by the way, you see where it says join today, earn 50% of your first month. That's bullshit. So when you join, you'll get the 50% of the first month revenue. Uh... That's basically the revenue plus 50%. So if, if let's say like if you're a first time affiliate, right? And you sign in, you sign up and you bring in a gambler and he deposits $10,000 and he loses $10,000. You're at 20% rev share. You're going to get $2,000 plus you're going to get 50% of the 10,000 that he lost. You're not going to get it that day. You're going to get it uh, one year later. They don't mention that though. They're going to pay you the 50% of rev share one year later unlimited earning potential that's bullshit monthly on time payments they don't pay you monthly they pay you net 60 basis basically like uh, youtube ad adsense so they're gonna pay you so let's say you, you bring in a player you let's say you make six thousand dollars in commissions on january you're not gonna see that money until the end of february so they pay you on a net 60 basis which is fucking ridiculous so it's not monthly on time payments 24 7 stats and reporting that's purely bullshit the stats and reporting that they got that's fucking bullshit it's not effective at all and um so i brought in a, a few high rollers and every fucking time the high rollers you know deposited a fairly large amount of money there seems to be you know tracking issues or there's somehow ma magically their software did not you know uh capture the proper tracking metrics so i brought in a high roller he deposited about five thousand dollars i'm on 35 percent rev share so the next day uh the rev share was showing one thousand dollars and 35 percent of five of five thousand dollars is definitely not one thousand uh dollars because after he deposited the 5k it was all losses he also deposited an additional uh, four thousand dollars, which it makes it, you know, nine thousand dollars. And then I started complaining to them, and then they were like, "Oh, we're sorry. The the tracking software was was acting up. Like, who are you trying to fucking play? Like, you fucking stupid. That's how you really are. But it is what it is. I don't give a fuck. I do not give a fuck. But they deserve to get exposed." They really do, because you're going to switch terms, and you're going to make ridiculous terms. And by the way, I've been generating hits for them. The only thing is, is that, you know, the conversions has dropped because th these brands, they have, they have so much bad complaints. They have so much bad publicity. When somebody looks up my bookie review, mybookie.ag review, they see so much fucking complaints. They don't even want to fucking deposit. <laughs> so how is it my fault? If I'm generating business to you, I'll bring in the customers. It's your job to con it's your actually it's your job to convert them. I'll bring them to you. I'll bring them to your front door, but it's your job 
to make sure they open that door, you know, and joins in and jumps. You cannot expect your affiliates to do the marketing and the sales and the customer acquisition and shit of that nature. That's a full that's a full time operation. Hire an entire marketing department then. You're about to get fu- I swear to God, you're about to get fucking blacklisted on every uh, casino affiliate networks uh, review sites. You're about to get blacklisted on the syndicate. You're about to get blacklisted on askgamblers.com. You're going to get blacklisted. I'm, f- I'm so fucking tired of predatorial, shady, deceptive business practices and marketing of these stupid fucking casinos. You understand what I'm saying? So with that being said, they're going to get fucking blasted. They really are. Anyways, feel free to subscribe to the fucking channel. Let me know your thoughts. If you guys had any shady experiences with this brand. Because this is this is day one of my uh, marketing campaign. Of putting the stupid fucking company on blast. And uh, part two is coming up shortly. With conversations with Kim Miller. The stupid bitch that's going to single-handedly destroy that company. She should get terminated. So, yeah. Subscribe to the fucking channel. You know how we do. I'm not going to censor bullshit. Fuck you. You feel me? Go to hell. Fuck you. And your company is going to... I'm going to make sure y'all get fucking blacklisted. I really am. I'm going to make sure y'all get blacklisted. I'm not tolerating no fucking bullshit.